it's, a, it's easy to prevent malaria and it's also curable. So it's lack of just knowledge. Dawa ni kitu ambacho haingiliani na ukabila wala mila wala ni sababu wewe inakushika mimi na nishika huyu na namshika. Au msungu achikwe na malaria. Hebu muulize mzee. Gar nichts. Ich weiß nur, dass die Tabletten teuer sind. Mehr weiß ich nicht. Malaria ist die Hauptgeißel Afrikas, eher noch als HIV und andere Krankheiten und die meisten Leute sterben daran, hier noch in Afrika. Half of the world's population lives in regions affected by malaria. Every year around 225 million people are infected with the disease. Almost 800,000 die from malaria. Most of them in sub-Saharan Africa, where it is the leading cause of death among children under five. But why does malaria hit Africa so hard? In search of answers, we set off to Malindi, a tourist town on the Kenyan coast. We made a conscious decision to visit this place, because here two worlds collide. Beyond the posh hotels, you can find ordinary African life. Prosperity meets poverty. Here we want to find out how people on both sides deal with malaria. We are 13 young people from Kenya, Uganda, Italy, Poland, Spain and Germany. We all are winners of a film contest initiated by the campaign Stop Malaria Now. The goal of this campaign is to raise awareness about the enormous consequences that malaria has for Africa and to urge European decision makers for additional action in fighting the disease. Nina? In order to find out more about the difficulties in the fight against malaria in Africa, we got in touch with the local population. In doing so, we came across interesting and strange things. <laughs> malaria kills fast, but the disease is treatable. Timely treatment saves lives. But in Kenya and other African countries, many people do not immediately go to local hospitals or the nearest health center when they get sick. Mostly, most of them take their patients a little bit late to the hospital. Others take them to the bush doctors. Yeah. So many people like here Malindi, they believe in witchcraft, so many of them. So if they get the malaria, they go to the, to, the, to the witch doctors. We want to find out more about how a witch doctor treats a malaria patient and went to Grace Rice, who is an expert in the field of witchcraft. When you tell them this is malaria, they say no, this is a case of a Mganga, a bush doctor. They take this person or the sick person to the bush doctor and the bush doctor will start curing him using his tools. He will use medicine from the bush, he will use some roots, and then he will claim, go and get a chicken, go and get a red or a white chicken, go and get me a red goat, or even they do claim even a cattle, a cow, a small cow. And then when they bring that, they will make a sacrifice. They use charms. You will see them mixed in blood with some black medicine from the roots, and they will apply the charms on the body, either using a razor blade to cut the body and put the charms inside. Uh, which doctors and medicine men, those just believe for me, I think it's just belief. Okay. Maybe, 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 maybe if, if they treat you using the neem tree, maybe that is, that is, that is good, uh, it, it, it can work, but not uh, using the magic uh, stuff or, no. I don't, I, I don't believe in that. To rely on witchcraft when it comes to the treatment of diseases can be very dangerous. But what about natural medicines? 
During our investigation, many people told us about the healing effects of the bark of the neem tree. We want to know more about herbal medicine, so we visited the traditional healer, Muhammad Yusuf. Kama mimi umekuja kwangu ni kukuchemshia zile dawa kakuwekea ndana na chupa kwambia utatumia nusu kikombe ya kahawa asubuhi jioni eh mtana jioni kato wa kulala ukiendelea kama siku tatu nne hivi basi utajiona kama anafuu iko ama hakuna lakini kwa nguvu za Mungu maana Mungu ndiye alileta miti kwa we also have such a potion against malaria prepared for us. Of course, we also try it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from the bark of the neem tree and other herbs, aloe vera is often used for treating malaria. We tried this as well. Huh? Who is an inayo? Malaria itaka. Aya. Ingi le sasa. Sasa na kupa kitu ya faida. Needless to say, we don't know if these herbs will actually protect us from malaria infection for the rest of our lives. Unlike many of the local people, we do not really believe it. Without having a concrete diagnosis, many patients trust in traditional healers like Muhammad Yusuf. But where does this faith come from? <laughs> Ukipima kule kisha kujua ya ni malaria ya ni mwishimua, sasa unawaza kutumia dawa hospitali kwa na uwezo. Mana hospitali dawa ni bure ya malaria. Lekini huku kwa weneji huwa si bure, mana unakuenda unanunua ya shingi shirini, shingi kumi. Ina kusaidi ya haraka zaidi kulikuwele ya bure. Ujua kitu cha bure ni hatari. There are two mistakes in this statement. Certainly, free hospital treatment is not dangerous. And unfortunately, diagnosis and treatment are not really free in governmental hospitals. A consultation fee of about 50 to 80 cents must be paid in order to see the doctor. Diagnosis and treatment costs extra, mostly between 5 to 10 euros, and much more for complex procedures. <coughs> Private clinics offer these services at a much higher cost than governmental institutions. Therefore, we did not find a single patient in the clinics we visited. An early and, most importantly, a correct diagnosis is essential in order to avoid the severe consequences of the disease and pointless deaths. Diagnosis of malaria can be made through the observation of symptoms or detection of the parasite in the blood. The second approach is safer and prevents incorrect medication. The parasite can be detected with a rapid diagnostic test or microscopic analysis. For both, you need a drop of blood. 
missing or false diagnoses have fatal consequences for many people. They die from malaria because they did not see a competent doctor in time. For this reason, raising awareness on the prevention, diagnosis and treatment of malaria is crucial. Uh, it's easy to prevent malaria. It's also curable. So it's lack of just knowledge. Malaria is only transmitted by female Anopheles mosquitoes, which mostly bite at dusk or during the night. With the bite, the agent, or so-called plasmodia, enters the human body. A mosquito net provides effective protection. During our shooting, we realized that not everybody is aware of how to use these nets correctly. In order to provide the necessary protection, nets should be fixed above the bed and should not have any holes in them. The most effective nets are treated with certain insecticides to render the mosquitoes harmless. Used properly, mosquito nets can reduce malaria transmission by 90% and malaria-related deaths by one-fifth. Having a mosquito net is only one side of the coin. The other side is maintaining and using it correctly. There is still much to be done to raise awareness on this issue. Na sasa hivi kwa karibu miaka 10 hatujagawi wengine na uwezo wa kununua pia ni shida. We visit Wario Hiribai, a pharmacist in Melindi, in order to find out more. Is the lack of knowledge about malaria really so widespread? I have seen a case whereby the mother still could not relate mosquitoes and the disease. So still they are not in any prophylax malaria prophylaxis, they don't even sleep in nets, so you can see the extent when ignorance is playing part in the, actually the spread of malaria. We asked people in Malindi what they know about malaria transmission. Malaria, kwa mbukiza kwaki, ni damu ile moja. Utakwenda kuangale mwanda ni wako, damu yake na ya kwako, kama ni moja, utambukiza. Watu wanasemanga ukila ukila embe uweza kashika na malaria kwa sababu kama ile embe limeoma alafu limeangushwa alafu pale pale mbwa inaweza kuja alafu akataga mayai yake pale alafu uko kwa vile vile bila kuosha na kama ni chafu ukikula unashika na uweza kushika na malaria na kama melala nyote pamoja na yeye ako na ugonjwa huo wa malaria hata ile nini inaitwaje ile kunguni kikuuma alafu kama yeye alafu kumewea unaweza kuambukiza kama nsima kaenda kula na mtu wa nini wa malaria ukikula mtu pamoja unaweza kuambukiza fatal misjudgments but not only locals also tourists who mostly come from europe have a considerable lack of knowledge relativ wenig ja, ein bisschen, vielleicht ein bisschen, was Sie wissen, erzählen. Ja, dass es natürlich von einem Insekt übertragen wird, dass das Insekt also in die Haut reinsticht und etwas hinterlässt, ein gewisses Sekret. Und dass dadurch dem Körper zu Entzündungen kommen kann, denke ich jetzt mal so. Ja. Dass es auch bekämpfbar ist, wenn man äh, einiges darüber weiß. Also Inkubationszeit ist das Einzige, was ich weiß, sind 14 Tage. Weißt du, wie viele Menschen jährlich von Malaria sterben? Sterben, yeah. weltweit. Yeah, 2000. Fortunately, we did not only come across ignorance during our investigation. These two salesmen from the beach know exactly how to protect themselves from malaria and treat the disease. Yeah. About malaria here is very dangerous. Sometimes if somebody is suffering from malaria, then you must have the correct dose, otherwise it take time to cover from the beginning. Do you know how it's transmitted? Yeah, sure. I know, but not much, because what I know is transmitted by from uh, mosquito. Do you do anything to prevent malaria? Yes, I know one. Like if you have a net, mosquito yeah, nets. Mosquito nets. So, as we use for preventing. Uh, when I had the feelings of malaria, first I tried to take this uh, medicine from the shops first, but still I don't recover. Then I try to visit the doctor, then I get treatment.
Sarah Wan Nimrod Maborja also knows about malaria prevention and treatment. But again and again, there are everyday situations where you come into contact with a part of the population who are unaware. Sarah remembers an extremely bizarre story. Mimi naangalia wakati mmoja mtoto wangu alikuwa na shida kama hiyo my first born. Eh nilikuwa anaanguka akishikwa na hiyo homa anaanguka chini basi wakaniambia ah mkojole mkojole tena hapo tuko kwa stage tuangoja gari kwenda Malindi kwenda hospitalini lakini anakuambia mkojole huyu mtoto atakufa huyu anashikwa na nyama wa juu. Basi nikawaambia siwezi nini mwagie maji hapo akitulia basi tuendelee na safari. Basi tulipofika pale hospitalini ikawa sasa mambo ya kuojolea unajua hakuna. Utaambia umpake kitambaa cha maji mpaka temperature ishuke. Nitakaposhuka ndio watampima sasa malaria kama anaye. Na ikawa yule mtoto alikuwa ameshikwa na measles. Na no, malaria si mimi. Malaria ni uchafu ule unaowekwa ndio umbo analeta umbo. Sasa ule umbo ndio analeta malaria. Simple and to the point. Preventing malaria does not only mean sleeping under nets. The environment must be clean and grass and bush should be kept short. Stagnant waters should be cleared since they serve as breeding grounds for mosquitoes. These are effective measures that can easily be put into practice and minimize the risk of catching malaria. Aside from the lack of awareness and superstitious beliefs, we were able to identify another major cause of the problem. Malaria is closely linked to poverty. Kwa sababu ni umaskini. Na hawa mbu hawajui maskini, hawajui tajiri. Au rongo bani? Akidunga medunga ye, lakini tajiri hapatikani sababu yuko yuwa gorofa na neti ya na fenda na kila kitu. Aza kununuwa dumu, uwe mwafri kutanunuwa pi dumu ye. Yo, shinja msini kupata mfuku wa unga, bala, hata na kutuwa mia mbili na msini unuwe dumu. We have cases whereby people who are given a three-day treatment, they are only given one dose according to the amount of money they have. So, because they want to make a sell, this person has only 20 shillings, and that's the cost of one tablet. So they will sell that one tablet to the patient. Many people in Kenya do not have the money to travel the long distances to the next health center and to pay for consultation fees and expensive medicines. Malaria medicines should actually be given free of charge at government hospitals and clinics. Due to the lack of stock, patients are often forced to buy the medicines and net themselves at pharmacies. With an income of 30 euros a month, this is simply unaffordable. Uh, nimekuwa katika hospitali mbalimbali kupata mbali, madawa natumia uh, na ile malaria bado inaendelea rudi hospitali tena natoa pesa na hiyo madawa iko gali We meet Mrs Carissa She lives in family circumstances that are common in Africa Women often have the sole responsibility of caring for their families akiwa mgonjwa mimi ndi mnawapeleka hospitali ni chakula ni mimi maana yake yuko mbali hayuko hapa karibu kama mimi ndi mnawajua uzima ugonjwa na haso wewe mwenyewe unafanya kazi ukana uzakuni na maka ni kama 500 haifiki kadzo kahindi also has to provide for her children and herself alone With the money she gets from selling fish, Katsuka Hindi can only barely support her family. She does not have the money to send her children to school. In actual fact, every pregnant woman and every infant under one has the right to be provided with a free mosquito net from government clinics, supposedly. These nets should be a blessing for Katsuka Hindi, since she cannot afford to buy any. But mosquito nets are the only way to protect herself and her family from malaria. But the spread of malaria is not only devastating because of poverty. Malaria also leads to poverty. Medical care costs money. Statistics show that every Kenyan spends approximately 40% of his income on health care. And sick people aren't able to work. 170 million working days are lost in Kenya every year due to malaria. This means a loss of income for every individual or even the loss of a job. 
But the whole country suffers enormous economic losses due to the disease. It's a vicious circle. At the end of our shooting, we have found some answers to our question about why malaria remains such a big problem in Africa. The majority of the population has inadequate access to effective prevention and treatment. Weak local health systems and widespread poverty also play a major role. Another issue is the lack of knowledge among people about how to prevent and treat malaria. Much more could be done to improve the situation. Prevention plays a decisive role here. Apart from the distribution of nets and the clearing of mosquito breeding sites, raising awareness is key. Where can you better educate people than at school? that we should do something to make sure that we don't encourage... The Despite all these problems, a lot has been achieved in recent years. Eleven African countries have been able to reduce malaria-related illness and deaths by more than 50 percent. Kenya is making progress as well. The number of children under five sleeping under an insecticide-treated net has increased tenfold between 2002 and 2006. As a result, the number of children dying from malaria could be reduced by 44%. But there is still a lack of financial resources, about 5 billion US dollars annually, needed to provide access to prevention and treatment measures for all of the people in need, and thereby half the number of deaths from the disease by 2015. We can win the fight against malaria. And health is a human right. Get involved. Share your knowledge with your friends and organize your own awareness-raising events. Urge European decision-makers to take more action to eliminate malaria in Africa. Be part of a global movement. Let's stop malaria now. Stop malaria now. Asisa omosuja kati. Nina malaria reu. Stop malaria just. Komesha malaria mara moja. Zach maime. Malaria Terras. Fermiamo la malaria adesso.